uh, a lot of repeaters are tone access. Uh, Motorola calls it PL. GL, GE called it channel guard. Uh, the formal name for it is CTCSS, right. Continuous Tone Coded Squelch System. I ought to get a point for that um, yeah. on a quiz. The point being is in the cases of interference like this, you know, people will say, well, you can add tone and that will make their interference problem go away. No, it will no. not. <laughs> that RF is still living in your front end and you will still have problems. If anyone accessing your repeater has a lower signal strength than that interfering signal. Um, I will also tell you, and it's it probably makes me old school for doing so, but the majority of my repeaters are tone squelch or excuse me. I'm sorry. Our carrier squelch. The majority of my repeaters are carrier squelch, particularly the busier ones. Uh, two reasons. Number one, it's travel friendly. Somebody comes into this area uh, and they dial up 146.94. They hear my guys on the air. They can join them without having to worry about if they have the tone programmed right or not. Number two, um, if there's an interference problem, either from a co-channel user or an adjacent channel user, guess what? With the tone off, I'm going to hear 